Uh, we're, we're talking to uh, members of Congress about Israel and the U.S.'s relationship. All right, y'all go. The U.S. has an intrinsic interest in making sure that Israel not only receives our best prayers and offers of success, but our armaments, our money, and our ability to make sure that in a very dangerous reason this democracy survives. There are some uh, biblical prophecies that say that control of, of Jerusalem by the Jews uh, is important for the second coming of, of Christ. This entire matter is based upon faith of our maker, of our creator, but it's also faith of a chosen people. Can you ask why the Democrats um, keep using our law enforcement officers and political funds? The Democrats who have been campaigning to defund our law enforcement as their people, BLM and Antifa, riot and loot in the streets. How would you like to see the, the Capitol Police government in Israel? Can you talk a little bit about the importance of the U.S. relationship with Israel? There have been two nations created to glorify God, Israel and the United States of America. I will bless both, I will honor both, I will do all I can to stand and defend them. Thank you, Congresswoman. Take care. Karen, give a quick second. Sure, man. Do you think there's a role of uh, religious extremism here in the U.S. funding and shaping the, the conflict? I mean, there are a lot of folks who are part of the evangelical movement that want to support Israel. To support yeah, Israel. Yeah, and yeah. we don't really kind of see that that same kind of constituent group pushing the other way. Yeah, I wouldn't label the Baptist or the, uh, the evangelical community as extreme because I believe, feel like they're following the scripture and what the scripture says about Israel, those who bless Israel will be blessed. I mean, they, they take it literal and I'm one of those people. You know, there's some Christian Zionists that do believe in some of these biblical prophecies and they're very controversial within, even within the Christian Zionist evangelical the community. Is. Yeah, and yeah. believing in Armageddon that there will be a final battle around Jerusalem and that after that battle, you know, um, there's a judgment day, Jews will be killed or converted, uh, Jesus will come back, there's gonna be a rapture event. Um, what do you think about those kind of prophecies? I believe Jesus will come back and I'm, and I'm gonna be on his side. I heard you talk about the Battle of Armageddon. Could you talk about what you see in the Middle East and how that fits the prophetic vision for the Battle of Armageddon? The Bible does teach in Revelation 16 and 19, that there's a final world battle that will take place. How would John describe an Apache helicopter or a tank? Uh, how would he explain a nuclear explosion? He uses the language of appearance, but that doesn't make it any less real. It makes it more real. It means these things are literally going to happen. In this battle of Armageddon, who is on God's side? Or in other words, who's God's enemy? Well. Uh, the ultimate enemy is going to be all those who have rejected Christ as Savior. And it's a hard thing for people to believe that Jesus, uh, uh, the carpenter, the mild and meek teacher, is going to return as Revelation 19 describes him, sitting on a horse with a sword and executing those who have opposed God. But that is Jesus. Yes, the first time he came, he came as Savior of the world. The next time he comes, he's coming as the judge of all the world. Our program, Pathway to Victory, is seen on television in all 195 countries. We're the most viewed program on the Trinity Broadcasting Network, the largest Christian network in the world. So I'll roll this right quick. All right, whenever you're ready. The countdown to Armageddon has begun, and our only hope is that Jesus will return soon to take his children home. Though today's global powers make every attempt to establish binding agreements with other nations, God will have the final say. No matter how hard we try to make world peace or undo the effects of humanity on this earth, the end of the world is coming and there's nothing we can do to stop it. 